welcome back. So, if you tried out the last video on practicing clapping on each part of the 16 note subdivisions, here we have a level two version where we're gonna take it a little bit faster, and instead of stopping after each one, we're gonna try to roll through. We'll do each one four times and then roll right along into the next one. So this will be a little bit more of a moving exercise. If you uh, find that you get off track, um, do your best to try to jump back in and catch up with me. Um, that is also good practice as well. We're clapping for to start on the first, and then the second, and then the third, and then the fourth part of a group of four sixteenth notes. So we're gonna clap on the one for four times, then the E, one E for four times, the and, one E and, and then one E and the. So let's just practice the hands to start, then we'll throw in the feet, okay? So we're gonna do a little bit faster, about right here. Those groups are gonna sound like one E and the, one E and the. We'll do each one four times, ready? One, two, here we go. One E and the, two E and the, three E and the, four E and the, one E and the, two E and the, three E and the, four E and the, one E and the, and three E and four E and the, one E and the, two E and the, three E and the, four E and the. Great job, nice. So, next step. We're gonna add in our foot. I may have already done it by accident. It's because I'm so used to tapping my foot while I play. Um, we're gonna throw that foot in on beat one and let the rest of the measure fly by, or the rest of the um, beat fly by. One, two, one, two, here we go. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Nice job. All right. Are you ready to add in the other foot? <clears throat> Remember, that's going to go on the and. So we're a little bit hotter tempo here. So our feet are going to look like this. Back and forth. Here we go. One, moving your subdivision. One, two, here we go. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E. Great job. So if you need to go back and slow this one down to get all the coordination, totally fine. Obviously we wanna start slow and get confident before we jump into something that's too fast and stressful, right? That is not the point we wanna make sure we're having fun. There's something else that you can do to help visualize this. Um, when I get into the both feet uh, portion, I like to kind of think of the beat moving physically around my body. So when I'm doing this and I'm playing on the first one, one. It's all on the right side of my body. It's really heavy over here. So think about that, one. Then when you move into the E, one E and, it kind of jumps over in a wave, right? From my right to my left, one E and, boom, boom, boom. And then when we get to the and, one E and, it's the same thing as it was over here on the right, but now it's on the left. One E and, very heavy on the left side. And then the uh, when we get to that part, one E and the, uh, to me, I'm imagining it kind of falling off the edge of my left side. One E and the, uh, it's over here. So try to use those little visualizations um, to keep it physical, keep it mental, visual. Um, those things help me so much in my playing and I love teaching them to my students and watching how they come up with their own ways to visualize it as well. So if you have um, another way that you're thinking about it, Feel free to let me know and let's collaborate on this, okay? Thanks so much.